for the, far, for the last few months, I've been working on a product that's called Caligo.com, that is online travel agency. We've reached so far a lot of markets all over the world, but there are some markets that are particularly hard to reach, particularly hard because of various differences uh, that we people so English-centered and, and like the Western culture-centered are not aware of. One of these markets is China. And there are a few things that you have to consider if you want to launch your web application in China. First is the script. Uh, as we know, Chinese language doesn't use Latin alphabet. And this has some unexpected consequences. First of them is that there is a high probability that users on your website cannot input their name if it's not possible to write it in Latin alphabet, in Latin script. And it's not only that Chinese characters cause problems, because there are many other languages that do not use Latin script. Another issue with it is the design of your page. Let's look at the, at the fonts that we are using. Very often to emphasize some content on your website, you use bold font or italic font, and the, it works even if the font is uh, if, even if the font is very small. But with Chinese characters, for example, as you may see on the right, there are no italic fonts at all, and the bold fonts, uh, if they are small, they make it very difficult to distinguish one character from from another. It it forces you to design page different way, to emphasize text by manipulating color or size, but not by making the fonts bold. And it's not only about China and Chinese language. There are more than 45 countries in the world that do not use Latin script at all. Even without China, it's hundreds of millions of people that could be your potential users, your potential customers, but you're not trying to reach them. Another thing is websites. So if you think about the biggest websites on the internet, if you think about Google and, and Facebook and maybe YouTube, some, some websites, some products allow users only to register via social networks like Facebook and Twitter. But guess what? All these websites are banned in China. So 1.3 billion people cannot log into your website because you're so uh, centered or on these products. Instead, uh, Chinese market has lots of local products that are not smaller because Baidu, local Google, has more than a billion users. Yuku, uh, local YouTube, has more than half a billion users. So these products are used to share knowledge, are used to communicate, are used uh, as a platforms just as we use Facebook or Twitter. The same happens with lots of other countries. For example, in Russia or Brazil, Facebook is not the most popular social network. There are local networks that are much more popular. Uh, the problem number three are payments. If you implement payments on your website, most probably you allow these free methods. And once again, guess what? In China, it doesn't really work because most, most of payments, more than 50% 50 50 of online payments go through this product called Alipay. It's created by Jack Ma, the owner of Alibaba. And it's once again, not only China. For example, in Russia or Poland, people do not really trust credit cards. They have local way of payments that they prefer to use. So once again, hundreds of millions of people could use your website only if you tried a bit more to, to target it to them. The last problem is the internet speed. There is, there is really no reliable da uh, data information about uh, what is the average speed of the internet in various countries. If you, for example, use uh, UCLA, they will, they will tell you that China, Chinese internet is on average 31 megabits. So it seems great, but then, you've, then you realize that this is only internal transfer. So this shows you what is the speed from your computer to the nearest server inside China. But then there is the great Chinese firewall that duplicates every single request so that Chinese government can analyze it and maybe censor the, uh, the content that's going back. So Chinese internet is extremely, extremely slow. And you should adjust your website so that people from China uh, may use it at least uh, more, a bit more comfortably. So maybe you can launch uh, or use CDN in China. Maybe you can use server, for example, in Tokyo instead of Singapore, because uh, there are submarine cables going from China to, to Tokyo that are, uh, that are faster than, than to Singapore. So the conclusion of my talk is that going international is easier than ever thanks to internet. But going global is still a big, big challenge that lots of us underestimate.